365 days ago, prosecutors say that Lonnie Simon beat her 20-month-old son to death before throwing him in a trailer park dumpster. WJCL 22 News' Andy Cole has been on the story since day one, and he brings us a recap from the last year. Plain of ours. Her one-year-old son is missing. She woke up, her door was open. One year ago, Quentin Simon went missing. We spoke with Quentin's grandmother. I don't know if I can trust her if I don't. <laughs> about Quentin's mom, Leilani. She hasn't uh, always done the right things. And sometimes she does really great, and sometimes she doesn't. Initially, the community rallied around the family and helped law enforcement search by land and by air. But just seven days later, police announced that Quentin was likely dead and named his then 22-year-old mother, Leilani Simon, the prime suspect. But they still hadn't found his body. Eventually, the FBI honed in on a Chatham County landfill. The expert searchers spent 31 days there, inspecting 1.2 million pounds of trash before finding Quentin's remains. We feel that we have a very strong case. We have put thousands of hours into this. Um, and we believed um, that this was the right move today to be able to do that. Just before Thanksgiving, Simon was taken into custody where she remained ever since. She doesn't deserve a Thanksgiving, quite frankly, if I can go off, off script a little bit. Quentin deserves that. In December, Simon was officially indicted and charged with 19 counts in the death of her own son. These are the cases that keep us up at night. These are the cases that deserve justice. Since then, Simon has been in and out of court for various hearings. Her next, scheduled for this December. It's unclear when the trial, if there is one, will get underway.